Hatem Yasar, Anuke Hotem Hamun Eret. Welcome to another Padarak reading with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. Panishad will be read by Kitty Maat Ari. The proclamation Return to your own Likum Learn to live for and off and by each other Nuwapu, Nuwapians Two Learn to love and care for each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Three. Learn to respect and trust each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Four. Learn to protect and support each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Five. Learn to recognize that each Nuwapu, Nuwapians is you, and you are each other, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Six. Learn that you were once a baby, then a child then an adult, then an elder. Remember the stages of life you pass through and treat each other the way you wish to be treated. The weapon, the weapons. Seven, learn to accept who and what you are, born and your real origin on this planet as being misplaced by other than self and kind. Return to your own, the weapon, the weapons. Eight, Learn to respect only those of other races who respect you for who they know you really are. The first race on this planet, the first race created, the children chosen to be born on the best and richest part of this Kawak Taha, planet Earth, Africa, as Afaf Re'e Ka'u, Africans, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Nine, learn to be proud and honored for your noble birth. Each one teach one. Reject what is not yours. Return what was forced upon you of foreign religions, beliefs, cultures, languages, and way of living. Live and die only for your own, Nuwapu, Nuwapians. Patarak will be read by Nafata Tia M. Maat. Rahubat Yasal Anoki Nafortat Tia M. Maat. Night reading of Patarak is the throne. One. Yeyu Karadu M. Natural Nadaro Atkum Atapa Munjaru 2 of the 24,000 years of four cycles of 6,000 years. 3. The last 6,000 years. 4. The end of the 18,000 year and the beginning of the final 6,000 year cycle. 5. Looking back to 4,000 BC is the birth of a new being on planet Earth, 
an earthling who was called Laban, for he was white as snow, called Adam, for he was of the ground, six. And forward in time from 4000 BC down to one was birthed a Gabar um, as the stars aligned April 17, 6 BC, the alignment with Venus, seven. He was an incarnation from above in flesh of the seed of Abraham, son of Tirhu, the oracle Kohan in Napper, or and Haran. Abraham was later called Abraham, then Abraham, then Ibrahim. His father was later called Tara, Tara, Tira, and Azar. Eight. They were of the seed of Mesopotamia. Their overseer was Anunnaki, also called Anakim, Elohim, Alihad. Nine, headed by the highest of them, An, also Anu, later called Ilion El, Al Aliu. Ten, and his offspring or heavenly host, sons of him. Eleven, Backward from 2000 AD to the birth of Pagabar, they called Yahshua, Ishas, and later Isa, or Isa, who came to stop blood lusting animals, sacrifices, and flesh offering. 12. Egabar became Gebor, and later Jabam. It is half earthling and half extra extraterrestrial. A demigod. 13. After he departed and claimed he would return before the end of the last 6,000 year cycle or before the end of the 24,000 year cycles. 14. Those who follow close to his words were blocked. Their work rejected. They were the Gnostics. 15. Their work were, me were many. Here find a few from June 1945 AD in the desert of Egypt, Nag Hammadi, a small town on the west bank of the Nile. In 1945 AD, 13 papyrus codices were undercover. Only 12 were still intact, dating back to, four, to fourth century BC. One, the Gospel of Mary of Magdala. Two, the Gospel of Thomas. Three, the Gospel of Philip. Four, the Gospel of Peter. Five, the Gospel of James. Six, the Gospel of Judas. Seven, the Gospel of Truth. Eight, the Gospel of Hebrews. Nine, the Acts of Peter. Ten, the Gospel of Hermes, 11, the Gospel of Egyptians, 12, one was destroyed beyond reading up, 16, and much later after he departed, four were put together and accepted, one, Matthew, two, Mark, three, Luke, four, John, 17, and this John was imprisoned and had vision from his time, 96 AD. He recorded it as the Apollopsis, the 22 books of Revelation. 18. In the third of the 22nd books or scrolls, he mentioned in verse 14 the Egyptian deity Amun, and to the messengers of the assembly of Laodicea, which is in Asia Minor, record these events said by the Amun, which is trustworthy and truthful. He who witnessed the beginning of the creation of Theos, God, so the Egyptian deity Amun watched the creation of the God of these books as recorded by John himself. 19. He was called Yachanan, then Johanna, then Johanna, unto John. 20. 
and he was shown the gateway. 21. As you find recorded in chapter or scroll number four of the book of Revelation of 22 books, 22. Scrolls number four has 11 verses. One. And after what he saw of the seven assemblies of Asia Minor, symbolic of the religious opinions, he said this, I looked and I saw a gateway, and it was open in the skies, and the first sound that I heard was as if it was a trumpet of Raphael, yet it was talking to me, and it said, rise up here, and I will reveal for you things which must come to pass after your time. Two, and at that moment I was transformed out of my flesh body and was a spiritual being and I saw a throne, Ashtar, Isis. She was in the skies above Syria's star system and one being sat on her lap throne, Asar, Osiris. Three, and he that sat on the throne looked like this. He was opaque solid like a jasper stone, and sapphire bluish as topaz, stone of sad, sardine stone. And also there was the likeness of a green rainbow all around him. And the throne, I could see it was emerald green, as recorded as these are the colors of the stones of Exodus 28, 17 to 20, and Revelation 21, 18 to 20. For the throne coming down from above, Revelation 21, 1 to 27. 4. And all around the throne was 24 seats. And upon each of the seats I saw seated 24 old persons, elders sitting. And they were clothed in white robes. And they each had upon their heads gold crowns. They marked the 24 hours in a day as timekeepers. The 24,000 years of equinox. The 24,000 norms of these earthlings, 24,000 miles of the circumference of planet Earth. Five. And from the throne came forth seven lights, who were blazing, flashing, and the sounds, lightning, the rumbling of thunder. It was seven crafts of bright lights, shining in which was, were the seven beams of ray. ray. One. Ta, a ta. Two, Zuhutwi, taught. Three, Sabak, Sobek. Four, Hap, happy. Five, M Hata, M Hotel. Six, Sakar, Sakar. Seven, Amun, Amen. Six, and in front of the throne, there, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. And in the center around the throne were four living creatures, star system, with star above them, before them, and behind them. Seven. The first living creature, symbol was of the lion, Leo, star system. The second was like an ox, Taurus, star system. The third had the face like a human being, Aquarius, star system. The fourth was like a flying eagle, Aquila. These are the celestial conjunctions of the crossing of the Dendera called Zodiac. You know the four as recorded in Egypt as the sons of Har, Horus. One, Emsit, human. Two, Happy, Baboon. Three, Dumatef, Jackal. Four, Kabasanaf, Falcon, Hawk, Bird. For the four canoptic jars, for the innards of the body, liver, lungs, stomach, intestines, as the four synoptic gospels. One, Matthew. Two, Mark. Three, Luke. Four, John. All symbolic of the ancient Egyptian carried over into Jerusalem and Babylon to mark the return of Venus, crossing in 2012 AD. 
Summa Sortes, June 6, 2012. The first crossing was the one before the Galactic Cross in ancient times to mark the symbol of Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Aquila Cross. And the next is the second cross of resurrection. It's the Equinox Sortes Cross. Every 6,480 years, about 6,500 years this, one-fourth of the 26,000-year procession, or 90 degree of 360 degree, these two crosses merge to form the Master Cross, a double cross, to become the eight-pointed star of the Dendera star map of Egypt, temples of Hatha, Hatha, the way to the star gate. Eight, each of the four living creatures star system was ruled, beings which each had six wings, six craft. These are, are the Saraf U, as recorded in Isaiah 6, 2 to 6 of the throne, verse 2. Two, above it stood Seraphim, each one had six wings, with two to cover his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he did fly, and was covered with what looked like eyes all around each craft, windows, even beneath his wings, crafts which did not stop or rest, day or shadow hours, saying, pure, pure, pure is the living one of the strength who is able to do, for he was and now is and will return. Nine. And whenever the living creatures gives glory and respect and show gratefulness to Asar or Cyrus that sat on the throne who lives forever and ever, 10. The 24 elders fall down prostrate in front of Asar who sat on the throne and give thanks to him who lives forever. And they lay down in front of him their crown of accomplishment before the throne and say, 11. You are worthy, our master and deity, to receive glory and respect and power because you created all things. And by your will, they were formed and have their being. It takes overstanding our story to overstand the story they copied and misused to confuse most. Yet now, Wunawu has come to open our call. I am who I am, will be read by Nafar Kare Shabaku. And looking the four Kare Shabaku, I am who I am. <clears throat> One, I have been with you because I love you. Two, I am Zedi, Zechwe, Zedi, Pa Manzal, Natar, Amun, Nabab, Re, Aka, Pata, Zedi. Three, I will soon depart from you. Four, I incarnate from time to time to renew our timeline. Five, I am here which is there now. Six, my time to depart is near, so I only wish you knew who I was to you. Seven, I will return again and again. Look for me in the wind. Look for me in the waters. Look for me in the soil. Look for me in your dreams. Eight, I will reincarnate again when needed. Nine, this is my findings. One, they look at me, yet they don't see the real me. Two, they listen to me, yet they don't hear what I'm really saying. Three, they have touched me, and still they were not able to feel me. Four, they have kissed me, yet they did not love me. Five, they were born of my genes, yet they are not my child. Six, they followed me, yet not close enough. Seven, they came to me, yet they did not stay. Eight, they smiled with me, yet they did not mean it. 
Nine, they greeted me, yet, and still never meant it. Tawakun. Tawakun Yasal, please tune in every shadow hour at 8 p.m. for another Patarak, and at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., 9 p.m. for chanting with the Supreme Grand Council of 24 Elders. What do you say?